What's going on guys, Somer Del Piso back once again with yet another video. Today, what we're gonna talk about, we're gonna get right into it, right? We're just gonna talk about what makes a successful man. We're not talking about success in terms of the things of this world. Talking about you have gold chains, you have watches, you have cars, you even started a family, you have children. Those things are not important, especially with the direction and trajectory of the new world, this one that is currently upon us. The new world of true masculinity, which is not trying to puff up your chest and proving yourselves to the individuals in this world that don't even understand or have the faculties to perceive what masculinity is, which is why they automatically cast it to the flames. We're talking about true masculinity, which is sexual control, solitude, control of all the faculties of the self, the amplification of your aura in term and breaking culture, breaking through tradition. You see, we're, we're, we have a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. Like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna get right into this conversation now. Let's rein, rein it in a little bit. What's the first bit that makes up a true successful man? And the first thing, as I talk about on my channel with most of my videos, is semen retention. If you are not, if you guys don't know what semen retention is, we're gonna succinctly explain it, to, explain it to you. What semen retention is, is the act of being celibate, being completely retained. You are not watching adult film content just because you are not sleeping with women. You are not having any releases of any kind. Nothing whatsoever. You're not peeking at social media accounts on Instagram, looking at lewd, uh, lewd models and whatever they have all over the website, which is essentially softcore, you know what. What you're doing is you're retaining all of that energy. You're allowing the transmutation process to happen inside your body. Uh, what is his name? Nicolas, Nicolas Flamel, the French alchemist, talked about this process, the alchemical process, which is transmuting the lead into gold, which is the transmutation of your semen, the energy in semen, to reinvigorating all parts of your body, becoming more intelligent, increasing your IQ, therefore changing your genetic code. That's another conversation for another video. Increasing your mental energy, right? Your capacity. You are going to recall memories from your childhood. You're gonna recall memories from the past. You are going to feel euphoria and there is no external cause. There is then the physical increase, right? The physical energy increase. You have more muscle stamina. You can do multiple things in a day. You will not be as the individual, the majority of the individuals in this world that enjoy being sedentary and enjoy being lazy. That's what semen retention affords to you. All men, we need to be on this practice immediately. I understand that there are the things of the world that tells you to have family. There are things of the world that tell you to have children, to try to propagate your seed because it is a biological imperative. But I'm telling you, this world is new. We are in a new age. The true men are not individuals that can start families. That is easy. Anyone can do it. I can do it now. I can go do it now. That means nothing and it will bring this world no closer to true peace. What the true man is, is honing in the energies, doing what is difficult, controlling the waters of the mind, right? Controlling the sexual natures and bringing creative policies, altruistic benevolent policies to this realm here. We are not interested in propagating in this realm insofar as it'll bring just more souls in the, into this world and then you could just walk around those silly social spaces that are completely antiquated and serve no purpose now just to say that you have done it. That doesn't mean anything. Men, if you're trying to become on, you're trying to get on your first step in becoming successful in this reality, we gotta be on semen retention. We gotta be on, we gotta be celibate. The next step, hit the goddamn gym. If you are, if you, like I said, new age, we have a plethora of information, peer back studies on why obesity is a bad thing, why the male fertility crisis is happening and it is the, the, the amount of men that are falling victim to this scourge is compounding. We have the uh, uh, overweight obesity epidemic. We have a lot of information talking about why being healthy is the way to be. If you vape, you're an idiot. If you smoke, you're an idiot. If you still drink alcohol, you're definitely an idiot because they are all poisons to the body. It prevents you from becoming the best individual that you can be and cultivating your spiritual antennas, your metaphysical antennas, in order to have a connection with the higher planes. We have so much information. Let's tap into it. Get in the goddamn gym. If you are unaware of what to do in the gym, just go to the goddamn area. It costs like $15 a month, $20 a month, $30 a month, right? Something like that. Go on the goddamn bar, do some squats. Leg exercises are the best exercises that men can do. It builds the most testosterone and it cultivates the most gr good health for the body. We gotta get on this. If you are completely timid and a little intimidated by the multiple myriad machines and the strong hurly-burly gentlemen that are all around the gym doing some exercises, just watch them 
and then do your exercise. Do some research beforehand, go do your exercises. Men, we gotta get in the gym now. Don't think that just because the women, they go after men with like big stomachs, means that you got to forget your physical health. Don't worry about that, that doesn't matter in this world. We are in a new age now, it is time to ascend. It is not the time to do the things that they've been doing in the past. We have to be successful men of this here age. We already said go and see more attention and go to the gym. Number three of uh, what will make a successful man is we have to now have a creative outlet. The nine to five job, I know that it is completely lambasted on the internet. Oh, it's stupid to have a nine to five. Oh, it means you're a slave to the system. Yes, it means that to some degree, but I'm telling you this, we have to deal with the world as it is whilst we keep our eyes on the sparrow and that sparrow, the proverbial sparrow is that, that world to come to be, which is inevitable. You have to survive in this world. We have rent to pay, we have bills to take care of, we have to eat, we have to uh, maintain our sustenance and our activities in order to be successful, truly successful in this world. If you have the opportunity to get into a nine to five, get into a nine to five. I'm gonna tell you my personal story. I just started working for the city a quarter of a year ago, uh, for a quarter of a year, sorry. We do a lot of menial tasks in addition to a lot of the personal tasks I do. I also have to do secretarial work, a whole bunch of stuff, and we're learning more and more. Trust me, it is boring. A little uh, monotonous at times, but I would not trade this in for the world, for I know that it comes with a lot of benefits, right? It's teaching me to organize a little bit more, which has been good for the channel. It has taught me to, um, to just sort of prioritize long-term things. The, the city job that I have, it gives me a whole bunch of benefits, including the ever-elusive pension. Do not worry about what they're telling you online about how bad a nine to five is. If you got an opportunity to get a nine to five and it's giving you a whole bunch of benefits that will benefit you in the long term, you get on that now. The only thing that will allow that job to continue being a benefit for you is if you do not have a family, you do not have kids, you do not have debt. If you release all of those, those restraints, you relinquish all of those fetters, then a nine to five is gonna be one of the best things you can do. As a young man with no debt, you don't have, you have your passport because you have not got in trouble with the penal system. You don't have kids, right, which are per perpetuating this problem of overpopulation, which puts a stress on all resources globally. You don't have a family, which means that you don't have to consistently put yourself out there emotionally and financially to consistently drain that ever scarce energy. When you do not have these things, you will ascend quickly in a nine to five. In the midst of the cubicles, the labyrinth of cubicles in my nine to five, I look, I smile, I pretend that I am one of them when I am not. And it will do you the same to be the same way. Concentrate on seamer attention, get something creative. We're young. If you are one of the individuals that have fulfilled one of the categories that I mentioned before, which is you do not have kids, you don't have a family, you're not doing drugs, you have control of your sexual faction. If you have all of that in check, you don't owe anybody any money, you are in a perfect, ripe situation to learn another language. I learned Spanish in a year. I have no connection to the goddamn South American continent. If I can do it and I'm 33, you guys can do it because you're young. Let's do it. Learn, it doesn't need to be Spanish. Let's learn Portuguese. Let's learn um, uh, Cantonese. Cantonese is a little uh, outdated. Let's learn Mandarin. Let's learn Georgian. Let's learn Russian. You have to practice these things. Hey, hey. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> He's looking down on his phone, lost in that perpetual fantasy of social media. Stop doing drugs, guys. Stop listening to what they're telling you and exceed. Let's continue. Learn a different language. Learn some skills. Tech is the future, whether you agree to it or not. You may have some religious dispositions about the coming of AI. Yes, I understand. In the New Testament uh, part of the Bible, I think it's Revelation that talks about the, uh, the causation of desolation, right? There's a lot of allusions to that being AI. AI is here to stay. It is a double-edged sword, just like social media. Utilize this service to your benefit. Try to increase your energy and utilize, your, utilize the AI in order to get the things that you need to get done. Granted, you are not hurting or destroying anybody. You're not casting pain to anyone. We are just trying to ascend in this world and, be, and trying to set ourselves up to be successful in the world to come, the new world, which is inevitable and which is coming now, right? So what I said, to be a successful man, be on seamer attention, be celibate, stop starting families, stop having kids, and just get out of the, the traps that this modern world cast upon you, which is binding to the, uh, the penal system, right? The penitentiary, which is having kids, right? I already said that. Um, having debts, 
Get away from those things. We already talked about that. Then we talked about getting to a goddamn gym. There's too many men here. The male fertility crisis is a thing. What does that mean, guys? What the heck does that talk about? Men are not even able to conceive. Now, most men are not even able to conceive right now because the sperm quality of most men are nothing, or zilch, cero, as the Spaniards would call it, right? Because remember, when you have an excess amount of body fat that affects your sexual health, understand this. It doesn't matter what they tell you, what they show you on social media. This is the truth. This is the now. Right. In addition to that, of course, we have a whole bunch of radioactive uh, devices, right? Basically, mini nuclear weapons. Uh, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but we have them close to our gonads, right? That is affecting us on a radio on a level, on a, on a biological level. And I just put my phone back in my pocket. <laughs> you guys have to understand that in general, male health is just dissipating. It's completely going, it's, it's deteriorating. Be on semen retention. Stop following the things of this world and you are going to easily ascend and there's going to be a happiness like never before. Trust me. Trust me. We talked about semen retention. We talked about going to the gym. We talked about being creative. We talked about getting away from the fetters of uh, the, this reality. And also what you need to do is have a control over your finances. Budget, 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 budget. You may not live in New York City like me. You may not live in London. You may not live in the, the various metropolises around the world, which are becoming more and more integrated and uniform and deteriorating. You may not live in these places. You may live in a town and you have probably like one or two hangout spots, social spots, right? And you go out and you see the majority of the people your age paying so much money for nothing just to be impressed individual women, right? Because I'm talking to men here. We have men that pay exorbitant amount of money, right? To impress women that do not have the impetus to ascend or look beyond the things of this physical reality. Why the hell are we doing this? Men, gentlemen, there is nothing. This world is a new now. We are in a new age. Religion is important insofar that you can glean specific parts of the various religions in order to in invigorate the self. We are supposed to ascend as men. We are not supposed to be of the things of this world. Stop chasing cars, stop chasing women, stop chasing children, stop chasing whatever it is, it is they tell you to be successful in this plane because it means nothing. It means nothing. I am 33 years old right now. I have nothing of the aforementioned fetters. I do not wear chains because I'm not interested in looking like a buffoon on my money, on my dollar. That's what it is. And gentlemen, budget yourselves. You're going to be the same way. Budget. Stop buying cars if you can't afford cars. If you live in a city, use the public transportation. It is not hard. You don't need to impress these silly people. Stop. One, first of all, stop doing drugs. Alcohol. St idiots still in this reality, in this present time, are still drinking alcohol. Why are we doing this? Alcohol is a poison. When you are drunk, you are intoxicated. When you are smoking weed, when you are smoking cigarettes, you are inhaling smoke poisonous, noxious fumes into the very ephemeral, weak body. And you do it consistently because the rest of this world does it. And the rest of the men in your area do it. Maybe your father's teacher did it. Maybe the, your father's best friend at the bar that he hangs out with all the time to escape the, the, the complete liberation of his wife. That's the reason why he does it. Escape these things of the modern world. Stop drinking, stop smoking. I have been sober for eight years. I have more health than a lot of 30 year olds because I have, I have put my health first. I have put my mentality first. I have put celibacy first. My final words, right? Let's do a recapitulation right, of what I said, of what makes a successful man in this world to come, this new age. You are on semen retention. You are celibate. And I don't mean you're just celibate like you're not having sex with women. Oh my God. You are not looking at adult film material. You are not spilling your seed. Two, you are budgeting. Three, you do not have any of the fetters that bind the rest of these souls here just because they want to chase the Joneses and have some modicum of success like our dear friends Michael Fassbender or Kanye West or Alicia Vikander. These people don't matter. They are nothing. They are all useless. They don't teach the way. They don't teach how to properly ascend in this world. Release those fetters. Do not have children. Do not have debt. Do not be part of the penitentiary system. That means you cannot travel. That means you cannot escape the West. And you are of sound mind. You do not have any diseases. When you have fulfilled these conditions, you are a free man. And you will be, you'll, people are going to come after you. You're going to be marginalized from your friend groups. Trust me, it's going to happen. This is just natural. This is just what's going to happen. Because the people of this world, it 
enjoy these things, but they are not successful by any means. It doesn't matter how many tall buildings they, they reside in or how many fancy Tom Ford suit wearing people they brush shoulders with. That's not true success. They are destitute of true spirituality and they have their place. Their place is coming. My final statement again, <laughs> which is the final statement. There's a world that's coming. There's a world that is happening right in front of you where the true men, the true ascended powerful men, the intellectual self-controlled sexual controlled man reigns supreme. It is happening now. Get yourselves on seamer attention, control your, ma your tongue, control your mind, control your wallet and you will ascend yet. Stop following the traditions of this world because you will never be successful. You will never find happiness. And with that being said, that is all I have to say for this today. If you guys enjoy that kind of content, like, comment, subscribe, share the video with some peers. Don't ever let this place get you down. The world will not directly attack you so much, but what it's gonna do is going to indirectly show you what you are missing out on. Families. For every family that walks by, only imagine the debt. Look at the father. The father's knees are shot. He cannot do squats. He cannot do exercise. He is weak-minded. He has a belly. He drinks. For every family you see, I guarantee you, you will see that. The kids are wayward. Their new parents are social media and technology. Every time you see these families walk by, no matter how happy they seem, there is a darkness within. There's a shadow. Debts, sicknesses, illnesses, debilitations of the flesh and mind because they bought into this world because they wanted to prove to everyone else that has also bought into this world that they're successful. Trust me, my friends, whoever you are, you young men, whoever you are out there that is by themselves, that is a little unsure and confused about the future of your, of your future, of your scholastic future, your uh, biological future, and you are following these steps, you, like I said, the aforementioned steps, see the earlier part of the video. You are a winner. You are the winner. Everyone that you see in a, a BMW and a Maserati, they're not winning like you are. You have your health, you have your sanity, you do not have children, you do not have debts, you do not have disease, and you have a soundness of mental health. You are a winner and you have your health. You don't have fat stomachs, right? Like the majority of men in this day and age. You are a winner. Believe that. Do not ever buy into the things of this world. Whatever they're selling you, you are not buying. Stay radiant, my friends, my, my, my friends, my, my guys. I shall see you guys in the next video. <sighs> Woo!